Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Log Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICAC Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 25 Area of Rectilinear Figures Exercise 25 A Question Number 1 This is saying find the perimeter and area of a square whose one side is 6.5 cm long. Now, we've all seen what a square is. It's something like this, you know, a figure with all the sides equal. And in this square, you can see if this side is L, then all the other sides will also be L because all the sides are equal. So taking the sides as L, the perimeter will become what? Perimeter becomes 4L because 4 sides are there and each side is L and the formula we all know area that is L square. So this is just a small recap. You don't need to write this thing but see we have side as 6.5 5 centimeters now so this is the side one side of the square we have been asked to find the perimeter so perimeter is equal to 4 L so 4 into 6.5 that is 0 and 2 carried over and one decimal point so 26 centimeter is the perimeter now next we have area so area means L square, right? L or you can say side square, both are same thing, 6.5 whole square. So let's calculate the square of 6.5, right? So we're gonna have here 30 and, uh, sorry, not 30 here, but we're going to have five, two over here, 325 here, 30 here, three there, so 390 here. 5, 2, 12 and 1, 42.25 we will have and you can see decimal point will be one place here, one place here, so after two places here. So your answer, your area is 42.25 and since it is area, so you will put centimeter and then 2 on it to indicate it is square centimeters. Let's move on to the next part. Now see the next part, find the area of a square whose perimeter is 124 centimeters. So Perimeter is how much? 124 centimeters. Okay. Now see, perimeter I can write as 4L, right? Where L is the side of the square. This I can write is, but it is given to us as well. That is 124. So I can make this equation. Now I can calculate the length of one side. That is 124 divided by 4. So length is equal to 31 centimeters. Each side of the square is 31 centimeter and we need to find the what? Area is equal to L square. So 31 squared, how much will that be? Let's see. So this will be 31, this will be 93. So we have 6961. That is the square and the area of this 961 square centimeters. Now let's move on to the next part. Now see the next part, find the perimeter and diagonal of a square whose area is 64 square centimeters. Now um, see, like you have seen, this is a square, right? In this square also, you can see we have not just these four sides, what we have? We have one 90 degree angle, another 90 degree angle, another 90 degree angle and another 90 degree angle. Four angles, what else do we have in this square? Right, one is this. Two diagonals, this might not look straight, but two diagonals are connecting two opposite points on the figure. This and this opposite points, this and this opposite point. So the lines that connect them, they are called diagonals. There are two diagonals in a square and we have to find the length of that diagonal as well. See, first of all, we have your area as 64 square centimeters. So you can say that L square is equal to 64. So L is equal to under root of 64, right? See, this will be what? 8, right? We all know 8 into 8 is 64. So I've written this length of each side now that you can see it is 8. Okay, I've written it. 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, 8 here. Now we have to find two things. First, perimeter. So perimeter you can see that is 4L. 4 into side 
that is 4 into 8 that's your 32 centimeters what else do we have to calculate diagonal now this is something new and the formula for calculating the diagonal is root 2 l right so basically root 2 that means the value of the root of 2 multiplied by l you can see no sign is between that means multiplication so you need to know that root 2 is equal to 1.414 or you can round this off to uh, two decimal places so this will become 1.42 right so this is the value of the root of 2 so that means we will have root 2 into how much 8 okay so we can we, we can take 1.414 also but for making our calculations easy we will take 1.42 in place of our 0.414 so root 2 value is 1.42 into 8 right so this is 8 into 2 16 1 8 into 4 32 and 1 3 and 3 11 and decimal point after two places 11.36 since it is diagonal so this will be centimeters only right and perimeter is also in centimeters so this is what this diagonal is and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye